Hello everyone, this is Musa from Blender Dojo. I'm back in action. I've been away for a while due to my job, but now I have more free time and um, want to continue making more interesting and informative Blender videos for you guys. So, in this video, we are looking at how to slow down particles using the particle settings. Alright, so you can see here we have our scene with our, our particles and our teapot with some physics send on. So let's open the particle settings and right away you see there's no obvious control for the speed of the particles themselves. So if you face this problem and you try to ask some people or Google it or look it up on YouTube, the first answer you'll find most probably is to do a time remap. Uh, so how do you, how you do that is you go to the format settings right here. And you change the number of frames under time stretch. For example, if we put 200, our scene actually slows down, but what that does is it slows down everything, including the teapot. That means your whole scene will slow down, but that's not what we want. So let's put it back. Let's go back to the particle settings. And if you look here, you'll find velocity, uh, different settings. But we don't want velocity either, because what velocity does actually changes the trajectory and the direction of the particles themselves. So as you can see what's happening here, that's not what we want. What we want is same physics, same kind of bounce, just happening at a different speed. Okay, so uh, the answer is under physics. Then you go down and find integration. And here you will see time step. Okay, so if you increase the time step, you increase the speed of the particles while maintaining the same uh, kind of bounce on the teapot. So it's like you're keeping the physical attributes just at a faster speed. Alright, so let's say if you decrease the time step, our particles become slower. But now they are dying off before they even hit the teapot. So let's solve that. For that, we need to increase the lifetime. And if we put 200, for example, now our particles have enough lifetime to drop and hit the teapot. As you can notice now, the bounce is the same kind of bounce it's just happening at a slower rate while our teapot maintains its original speed. Okay, that's it for today. I've been Mosa and you've been awesome. See you in another video. Bye bye.